Hi everyone, I want to talk about causes of seizures and possible differential diagnosis of seizures disorders. We've briefly talked about general terms when it comes to seizures in my first video presentation on seizures disorder. Today, what are the possible causes and what are the differential diagnoses? Let's go. The first item on my list as per the causes of seizures disorders will be genetics. So it could run in families, particularly epilepsy. Okay, but though I may not go into the nitty gritty or details of inheritance as per seizures disorder, but just put that you now as the corner. Okay, we'll come back to it later on. Injuries to the brain, causing some arachnoid hemorrhage, subdural hematoma, or traumatic brain injury could lead to the seizures that we are now witnessing right now. Okay, brain injury, road traffic accident, trauma in any form, with subarachnoid hemorrhage, subdural hematoma, traumatic brain injury could lead to seizures. Brain infection. Meningitis, encephalitis, abscess formed within the brain, or neurocysticycosis could all lead to seizures. Stroke, ischemic stroke or hemorrhagic stroke, or a positive ischemic injury could be identified in those affected. Electrolytes are not left out when there's derangement when we have hypocalcemia, hyponatremia or hypernatremia, hypomagnesemia will all lead to seizures, electrolyte imbalance. Medications, a lot of them, particularly alcohol withdrawal, street drugs like cocaine and amphetamine. Medications overdose or intoxication, chemotherapy, immunosuppressant, antipsychotics, pseudoevedrine. The list goes on to include phenylephrine, methylphenidase, aminophylline, theophylline, tricyclic antidepressant, and even antibiotics. Endocrine glands are not left out with the possible hyperthyroidism, hyperglycemia, and hypoglycemia as culprits. Tumors like brain tumors, metastatic brain tumors, that is secondary to the brain, or primary brain tumors could all lead to seizure disorder. As a matter of fact, when an elderly man comes down with seizure disorder for the first time, then we need to work very hard to rule out brain tumors. Brain tumors. Somebody is older than 50 years old and just coming up with seizures, with convulsion for the first time in his or her life. Oh man, let's rule out brain tumors. Other possible causes of vascular malformations and Alzheimer's disease, and don't be scared, that is just in about 10 to 20 percent of people diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. And it's not that at the early stage of the Alzheimer's disease, it's actually at the later stage of the disease. Ophelia, which is a problem with their metabolism, will be a possible cause. Anyone diagnosed with porphyria should be watching it. They can come down with seizures. Dialysis disequilibrium because of electrolyte imbalance, particularly those having more dialysis for the first time could come down with seizure disorders. Aposia for many reasons 
will lead to seizures. Now the differential diagnosis. And top moles will be migraine. Then syncope, transient ischemic attack, panic attack, generalized anxiety disorder, transient global amnesia, narcolepsy with cataplasy, particularly the atonic type, then parasitic movement disorders. And with that, I come to the end of this very presentation as per causes and differential diagnosis. I will be moving on to the triggers of seizures. You should be interested in that. Kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get these presentations immediately they are published. Thank you. I appreciate it.